Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Trey Fragrances, and I'm back with another banger. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications because I will be posting my content for you guys. So, in this video, I will be talking about if you want to smell masculine, you need to wear these seven fragrances that i have for you guys that i'm about to show you guys okay so if you want to smell very manly you want to smell you know masculine i got you this is the right place trust me without further ado let's get straight into this vid now this first fragrance that we have is we had got versace or the perfume this is the euros flame and this scent is definitely a masculine um it has a little bit of freshness to this scent you get that spiciness right off the bat mm. and then towards the dry down you do get that vanilla that really picks up very beautiful in this scent which is so good you know it smells amazing um the scent I give it an 8 out of 10. I love this scent. You know, it's very good. It's not bad. The Versace, like I say, uh, unlike the blue one, the blue one is a little bit more of a younger, you know, clubbing or, you know, probably like somewhere around the 17, 18, maybe mid 20s up around there. But the this one is definitely is a great fragrance. You know, I love the Versace's Euros Flame Auto Parfum. I like what they did with this DNA on skin. It lasts around six hours on my skin with probably like three to four hours of silage. You know what I mean? But like I say, this scent is so good. You can't go wrong with this fragrance. Versace, Euros Flame, Auto Parfum. Great masterpiece. I love it. So if you do not have this, pick this up and you will be smelling masculine. Now, this next fragrance we have is our Moth Club Denuit Intense. Now, this fragrance opened up with the burst of that lemon that you get. And it is a little bit of harsh. It is a little harsh. Mm. Oh, yeah. You definitely get that lemon note right off the bat. It may can be over, um, overwhelming to some you know, on that lemon oak after the first initial spray. But it does calm down and, and it's giving like work office type vibes. You know what I mean? But this Amoth Club Denuit Intense, I this scent really kind of grew on me. It kind of did, but not really. But I can say that this fragrance is not that bad. Okay. In in my opinion, is maybe give or take probably about a if I have a give it rating maybe about a six and a half you know what I mean but it's not bad okay just the lemon note that really kind of gets it it's very masculine you know you can wear this maybe to work you can wear this to like an office job or some you know what I mean but this scent is 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 not bad you know it's definitely masculine you know it leaves on your skin uh it stays on your skin about 10 hours literally this scent the longevity of this scent goes crazy um good projection great projection you know it will have you smelling you know good and so if you do not have this fragrance pick this up a moth club denuit intense man you know i really was hearing about this fragrance you know a lot on the uh tiktok and youtube you know, and I was like, you know, what, let me try. It. But, you know, I wouldn't hype it as much as people would think. You know, it's really not worth the hype, in my opinion. But, you know, it's okay. So that, but like I say, it's an okay fragrance, you know, but it will have you smelling masculine. So this next fragrance that will have you smelling manly and masculine, Dior Sauvage Elixir. Now, this scent has that great lavender. You get that... Uh, You get like a like a fresh 
well, not like a fresh, but it's like a, yeah, you do get a little bit of fresh. You get like that spiciness, like, like that black pepper in there or something. And this scent just goes crazy. Now, this scent is a great masculine special occasion fragrance. Okay, Dior Sauvage Elixir is just goes crazy. I promise you the longevity, eight plus hours, lasts on your skin all day. Great silage, leaves a nice scent bubble, I promise you. And it will leave a beautiful, like a lavender, fiery, like burning woods type of trail. You know what I mean? But it will smell masculine and addictive. And this scent is just amazing. You know, I would wear this to only like special occasions, literally. But this scent is a very masculine scent, Dior Sauvage Elixir. And if you do not have this fragrance, pick this up, Dior Sauvage Elixir, guys. I promise you, you will not go wrong with this scent. The scent goes crazy. And as you can see, the bottle is still full. Like, the bottle is still full. You know, I've really been saving this, you know, just in case for any special occasion. So if you do not have that, make sure you pick that up. Now, y'all might be surprised about this next one that I'm about to show y'all, but I kind of see why y'all probably might not put it into the masculine, you know, um, line. But in my opinion, I would say CR7 Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, this is the auto toilet. And the reason why I put this in this you know, line up because of the dry down. So when you first spray it, you get like a, you get freshness, you get like a citrus, of course, and you get a vanilla, kind of a little bit of sweetness to it. But when it transitions down to maybe about, give it maybe about 30 minutes, it would transition down to a masculine, ambery, you know, woody scent. But you still get, I think I, I think I sprayed some right here. But yeah, you get that, that woodiness and you still get that uh, sweetness a little bit in there. I actually sprayed some on my hand before I actually started this video, you know, but the scent just goes crazy. When I say it goes crazy, it goes crazy. You know, so if you do not have this, pick this up. CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, if y'all don't know who that is, a great soccer player, one of the best to ever do it. But I'm pretty sure y'all know who that is, just for the ones who don't know. But if you do not have this fragrance, pick this up. CR7, good masculine fragrance. And even though that is yet masculine, it's yet attractive, sensual, and you know, it lasts on your skin, maybe about seven hours, you know, good projection, you know, but this scent is a great masculine scent. So this next fragrance we have, we have you smelling manly. We have Ralph Lauren Parfum. Now this scent opens up with the blood orange note. You get um, that lavender in here. And you do get a little bit of sweetness. That atomizer goes crazy, y'all. Like, literally, that atomizer goes crazy. 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. You do get a sweetness. You get that orange. So it kind of smells like that, like a fruity. You know, you get a little fruitiness in here, like a sweet fruitiness. So right off the bat, it kind of smells like a, like a fruit basket, but not quite. And this scent is definitely a masculine scent. You know, it's, it's very good. I, You know, it really surprised me because I really didn't really have too much high hopes for it. You know, because this is my first Ralph Lauren fragrance. And this scent actually surprised me. You know, you get, you get like a, it tones down to like a soft, I don't know, y'all. This scent just, it's just crazy. The longevity on this scent, uh, it gives me around maybe six hours, seven hours with four hours of silage. You know, the projection is really good. Uh, you know, like I say, 
this right here can be worn as a special occasion scent too. I really wouldn't wear this every day, you know, like an occasional scent, but the scent goes crazy. It's a masculine scent, you know. So if y'all do not have this, pick this up, Ralph Lauren Parfum. Now, this next fragrance we have is, we have Furberry London for Men. Ah, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this scent came out in 2009. If I'm not mistaken, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this scent is a classic gentleman masculine scent. You know, uh, it definitely gives uh, gentleman vibes. You know what I mean? Oh, you get that tobacco cherry. I mean, like a tobacco cherry unique note in here. You definitely get a little woodiness in here. Uh, like I say, the scent is a very great masculine scent. You know, um, if you want to go to maybe like a, I would say maybe like, you know, a wedding or something, or you can just go somewhere to like, like a family reunion during the colder season. Cause this right here, you do not want to wear this in the summer i mean the hot seasons you know maybe like in the colder seasons or something but this scent is a masculine masculine scent you can wear this as a date night too if you want to you know so it's kind of excuse me it's kind of a little bit of versatile to this fragrance uh, like i say that tobacco cherry like a tobacco cherry note is definitely giving you know masculine you know manly vibes so if you do not have this fragrance, make sure you guys pick this up. Burberry London for men. This is the auto toilet version. So yeah, guys. Now, last but not least, we have Gucci Guilty for Home. And this is the auto toilet. Auto -toilet. And y'all, this Gucci Guilty is a good fragrance. I feel like this is a very underrated fragrance that, you know, people might, some might not like it, but this scent actually goes crazy. You know, Gucci, as you can, just by the scent, I mean, just by the name, Gucci, is definitely going to smell luxurious. You know what I mean? So it definitely smells like a million dollars. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's very luxurious. It's masculine. You get like a bergamot. You get a citrus. You get a little bit of lemon in there too. So it's very fresh um, in the top notes. As you can uh, tell, this scent is just crazy. Like, I would wear this to a date night. I would wear this to like a special occasion, like a wedding. Um, me, I probably wouldn't wear it to like in the winter time, the colder seasons, because this scent is meant for like, you know, for those warmer seasons like summer and spring, something around there, you know what I mean? And that ballpark. But this Gucci Guilty Pour Home is a good fragrance. And I think, in my opinion, that it's very underrated. So, yeah, guys, this scent is crazy. Longevity on my skin, I get seven hours projection. You know, it leaves a nice, good scent bubble. Like, it leaves a fresh, masculine trail behind you. I promise you. And you do get a lavender in this scent. You really just can't smell it as much. You do get that vetiver in here. And this scent just goes crazy. So, if you do not have this fragrance, pick this up. Gucci Guilty Pour Home. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vid. And if you want any masculine fragrance you know that i show y'all if y'all do not have them please go pick them up because these fragrances are bangers okay you know i don't know about this one you know i'm kind of maybe you will like it but this fragrance was okay to me but you know the rest of them definitely a must pick up you know and i hope y'all out there having a blessed day and i hope y'all out there feeling good looking good dressing good and most importantly of all, smelling good. And it's your boy Trey Fragrance. And I will see y'all in the next video.